Gemfields is one of the world's leading coloured gemstones companies that has just had a spectacular rise in its uh, share price to levels not seen in four years. The chief executive is Ian Halbottle and he joins us now. Uh, welcome back to us here at Proactive Investors. When we spoke in the summer, you were talking then about the potential for exponential growth in, in the company. Um, you, you're now, what, uh, eight and nine months further on from when we last spoke. How are things going? Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for inviting us back. And secondly, I'm very pleased to say that I believe we're delivering on those promises. You know, uh, I'm sure it, you know, it's, it's relatively easy for me to come and make statements like that. It's a different story a few months later to say that we've actually delivered. And uh, if you look that uh, in the first half of this financial year, we have achieved revenue which is higher than the full year before, I think that's a good start, not bad going so far. And indeed, looking through your most recent set of numbers, in addition to the revenues you're talking about, you've just shown a 42% rise in net profit, a 107% rise in EBITDA. These are impressive numbers. Can they be followed up with equally impressive numbers the next time around? Yes, I think so. You know, the reason for that is because we're still in quite an early stage in our development. Um, coloured gemstones in general, and I think gem fields in specific, particular, we're a long way from saturation. So we're busy developing a market, developing mining expertise, developing demand for our products. So when you're coming off a fairly low base, I, I certainly believe there's quite a bit of runway for us. And we look forward, our, our vision is, is to continue this momentum going forward into the foreseeable future. Talking about your products, and you brought along some gemstones here now, this is a, a obviously an emerald. Um, you're, you're mining in, in Zambia and Mozambique. Where, where does this come from? What sort of uh, mine are we talking about that produces this sort of quality? This is one of our, our flagship mines at the moment, or certainly the cornerstone and the foundation of our business. This gem that I'm showing you right here is one of Zambia's um, emeralds, and certainly I think on par with some of the finest product in the world. So this comes from the Kaji mine in Zambia. Um, one of your, um, uh, your quotes in, in your interims, you speak of improving uh, operating efficiencies uh, when, when getting these out of the ground and, and producing them to this sort of quality. Can you continue to um, improve your efficiencies in this process? Yes, we certainly hope so. You know, obviously we've had uh, quite sterling successes to date and one would say you can't continue ad nauseum improving the efficiency. Now, what does increased efficiency mean? It means uh, more volumes, lower costs, uh, and uh, just all over better controls within the business. And we've certainly been able to do it so far. In fact, one of the, the gentlemen on my board of companies operates in another mining company, and he was saying, Ian, so many mining companies are seeing costs going up, or at least relative costs, and yet Gemfields is one of the few guys that is able to continue to reduce costs. And that's because we are, as I said earlier, we're coming off a low base. So when you're coming off a, a low base and you're developing the mining science and you're actually developing the mining uh, kind of techniques, it, it does create more of a runway. And so we look forward to doing this, as I say, for the foreseeable future. As I say, you've, you've brought in emeralds here, but uh, you're also moving into the ruby market, aren't yes. you? How is that going now? What's, what's the progress you're making? Very exciting. Emeralds is certainly starting to move, and I think that's indicative. You can just go look at Bond Street. A large number of the, the retail jewelry, store, jewelry stores in Bond Street have got emeralds. If you looked at the, um, the Oscars, look how many ladies were wearing emeralds. So that is moving well, but certainly now with rubies, I think that's going to join emeralds fairly soon, and jointly they'll start moving forward quite uh, exponentially. We're very excited about this deposit. We have 300 square kilometers of what is potentially the greatest ruby deposit in the world. We've just a few months ago received our mining licenses, and the, the equipment for the bulk sampling should be on site by the end of this month. So over the next 12 months, we'll be starting to do diamond drilling, bulk sampling, creating some form of grading system, and hopefully this time next year, we'll be able to do our first auction of Mozambique and rubies. What about uh, the prices here? I mean, you talk of robust demand for coloured gemstones. What yeah. about prices? Yeah, prices are, are definitely increasing at the moment. You know, if one looks at the history of mankind, emeralds are, and coloured gems have been valued by mankind for many, many years. Just recently, really, diamonds have superseded that. So that's a much more recent phenomenon. But I believe in the inherent psyche of mankind, there's a natural love for coloured gems. Just stand back and watch people when they walk down the high street. As they walk past the window, the window they stop at that gets their attention is the one with colour. 
Mm. They might buy something else because of branding and marketing, yeah. but color gets the attention. And, and I think mankind's forgotten that. For quite a while, we've been a little bit boring and, and gone for white and black pinstripe suits or whatever sure. else. But you certainly see a change. We see it in the West and undoubtedly in the Eastern markets as well. What about the market overall for, for precious uh, gems? Because we've got the news just recently yeah. that Rio Tinto is looking to exit the diamond yeah. business. Of course, it's not a business you're in directly. But what does this say about precious stones? Well, you know, on first glance to the uninformed, they might say, hey, you know, the market is moving away and mm. the gemstone yeah, yeah, market might have yeah. some problems. But to me, that's indicative of exactly what I'm saying. For a long time, the core sector within gemstones was diamonds. And I don't mind diamonds. I think there's a good place for diamonds in any business or in, in our sector. But certainly there's a move towards color. And color gems, if done right and if managed properly, create a lot of margin and are really being increasingly accepted by consumers across the world. Uh, we, we've uh, spoken very briefly about the share price or, or, or referred to it. Uh, I want to bring up a chart of the share price here just, just to show exactly what's been going on and also talk a little bit about the cash you've got in your balance sheet, 32 yeah. million pounds. What are shareholders going to get out of this? Are you going to start paying a dividend or is this all going to go into growth? I'm a firm believer in dividends. If you look at the background of the way I've run business in the past, I'm a big fan of dividends and I think dividends is a great way to reward shareholders at the right time. Today, in all truth, if I gave a dividend and a shareholder said, what do I do with it? In honesty, I'd have to say give it back because we really have so many very exciting opportunities. Our vision in the foreseeable next few years, three years, is to double the production of our emeralds from our car gem mine. We're hoping by then that our ruby production will be on par. So, you know, certainly uh, far ahead. Um, we're looking to have a significant impact on ongoing consumer demand for our product, which will further push our prices. And after that, we'll be looking for sapphires and a few other colored st stones. So right now we have in our, in our traffic light of colored stones, we've got <laughs> the red, we've got the green, but there are a few others yeah. and we certainly look to invest into those. Okay, we look forward to speaking to you again when, uh, when you've got those out of the ground as well. But uh, Ian, for the uh, meantime, thanks indeed for joining us. Ian Albottle there, who's the Chief Executive of Gemfields. This film is for educational and leisure purposes only. Proactive Investors does not provide investment advice. The company is a publisher and is not registered with or authorized by the Financial Services Authority. Please refer to the full terms and conditions on the Proactive Investors website.